Hello bros, I'm Michael Tales of X0, bro for production. Next part is this crew of Forest Girls 3. I did attempt uh, a little bit of uh, adjusting in my video capture unit, but uh, I did not manage to do anything uh, other than uh, <laughs> making the picture looks a little bit better. Uh, so let's just jump into where we left off last time. Dream. My eyes look upon those uh, of uh, my rescue and soon my anxious squawking fades. I stare at her and she stares at uh, me in turn. She's kneeling in front of me, her head tilted askance. Her golden blonde hair is pulled back into two cute pigtails and her full bangs flutter in the breeze. She's wearing a dress made of animal hide, dyed green and brown, and in one hand she is, holds a bow. She must be a hunter. Imagine she was uh, scouring the woods searching for prey when she chanced upon me. This is quite an awkward encounter. N no way, I don't believe this. You could, uh, I couldn't tell at first, but is that really you, Jaja? But awkwardness of our unexpected meeting is further magnified when I realize with us start that this girl is no stranger. Is no other than Coco? Yeah, the who is really is? You. It's been so long. I have no idea what you're doing out here or what kind of scrape you got in yourself involved in, but I really am glad to see you. I missed you so much. Koga gets her feet and helps me up. My legs are shaking, but I'm able to maintain standing, perhaps through sheer force of will. Koga controls her arms wide, perhaps meaning to hug me, but pauses. Her eyes roll over my unclothed body, and the red face she glances away. I would hug you, but this is a bit awkward. You should probably put on some clothes on first. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I laugh breathfully, my bare toes curling against the soil. I pictured my reunion with Coco countless times since the night she disappeared, but I never thought it'd go quite like this. My nakedness is adding a good deal of drama to the scene, but I think this wholly unnecessary. How did things end up like this, anyway? What happened, Jada? How did you end up in the forest without any clothes? You weren't attacked by ruffians, were you? No, I wasn't. At least I don't think I was. I found. My thoughts are all scrambled. It's hard for me to keep abreast of everything that happened. I need to try and rack my brain. How did I get into this bizarre situation? I guess all this started three years ago when my village was attacked by a BB, strange, relentless monsters called slimes. Okay, so now we get the backstory. Before the slimes attacked, I lived a peacefully happy life with my two childhood friends, Ayana and Coco. After the slimes descended, however, Coco and her family went missing. Ayana and I feared we might never see her again. It wasn't until our uh, 21st birthday that Ayana and I were able to sally forth from our village so that we might search for Coco. Ayana and I sought out the help of a mischievous witch, Maya, who used her powers of the vengeance to seek our Coco's location. During the two weeks uh, I lived with Maya, my relationship developed with... <laughs> well, I'm not gonna show Maya or Ayana and Maya because we did uh, get to the story and a uh, relationship evolved, evolved with Ayana. Ayana. I've always been close to her, but now we're uh, even closer than I ever imagined it was possible for two girls to be. I confess that my feelings for her ran deeper than those of friendship and she reconciliated. Since then, we have kissed, held hands, and well. Now it's not really the time to go into all of that. Yeah, they need to keep it child friendly for YouTube. Hmm? Uh, they keep it child friendly until you add a patch uh, that's always free online. It's a patch, uh, so you need a base game anyway if, uh, if you were gonna patch it. But if you want to read everything that happens, you have to get that yourself. Because I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna risk uh, screwing with YouTube uh, more than I already have. I mean, they have done uh, things that they aren't allowed uh, when it comes to my channel, so... I need to get back to on topic. 
Maya then brought us to the village, proceeded over the Princess Call area. Aries village was uh, suffering from curiously concentrated drought, which had withered the crops in the <coughs> her fields and drained their nearest rivers of water. Though Coco was not uh, present at the village, Aries confessed that she had lived there for quite some time and that she had an idea of where she may have uh, gone. In exchange for this uh, information, Ari asked that Maya use her magical abilities to summon forth rain cloud to fill the dried riverbeds with water and revitalize the fields. Maya did as she was bidden and performed the ceremony without any complication. The rain fell thick and fast and Ari's village was healed. Ari threw a celebration in our honor to which all the villagers were invited. There, there we drank and danced and ate delicious food. Ayana and Maya and I were set to leave Ares village after that night once we secured the news of Coke's potential whereabouts from Mary. But that never came to pass. In a shocking tone of events, Ari heard pre <coughs> Ares head priestess Imala revealed herself to be a wicked villain. It was uh, she who summoned forth the slimes which attacked uh, our village three years prior and it was destructive. Wanton news of magic that had inflicted the drought upon Ares village, fearing that we would leave and uh, in so doing hurt the sensitive Ares feeling, Mala impressed Maya and Ayana and I inside her sacred dungeon. She set her signs upon us and meant to break our spirits. She might have achieved it too if it weren't for the strange talisman Ayana purchased from the traveling merchant during our journey. His talisman, which Maya had been looking after, began to exude a strange white light. This light filled the dungeon in which the three of us were being held captive, and then. Um, hmm. The spike of rain seemed to spread my skull in two, a wind pressing one hand against my throbbing temple. That's where my recollection pattern out. Well, we yeah, got the full backstory to up to this point, so <coughs> let's continue. I must have passed out after that. When I finally came to, I was laying face down in the dirt. Talk about a wild story. How can I ever explain that to Coco? It take me all night. I don't fully understand the details myself, and I act uh, participant in all this madness. How exactly was I able to find Coco? I suppose I must have something to do with Diana's necklace. Maya did say it was enchanted, but not even she seemed to realize how powerful that enchantment was. It's something interesting to ponder, but for the present, more important things on my mind. Okay, so the thing is that Helen had probably teleported us to God knows where, and the question uh, is, did it do the same to Maya and Diana, or are they still chained up in the dungeon? <coughs> but even uh, though their spirit should be lightened up, considering I disappeared, so there's hope. <sighs> Where am I and Ayana? I wave my head about wide eyed. Oh, but soon I feel uh, compelled to sight in relief. My companions are sprawled upon the ground as I was, both naked as the day they were born. Okay, <laughs> we got that answer first. I know a white uh, tresses pool against the swaying grass and my purple locks uh, shift in the breeze. Hmm, what? Ayana is the first uh, to regain caution as she sits herself up, her blue eyes glazed. Confu confusedly she glances at herself, eek, and then she squeals. Well, there's nothing unexpected, it doesn't uh, sound like she's in pain, only embarrassed. Which uh, comes as uh, quite a relief. But what is going on? What are we doing out here? Why are we not wearing any clothes? And Anna looks at her to my right. Her eyes meet Coco's. C C Coco? Is that really you? Yes, it's me. It's really good to see you again, Ayana. I was uh, wondering how had you been. Though I didn't think our reunion would go quite like this. <laughs> it's pretty surprising. You're telling me. I am... Oh, oh my. Anna shields her nakedness with her arms, her over limb trembling. I, I really must apologize for my current state. I, I have no idea how this happened. 
I hope you can forgive me. I'm not a suspicious person. I'm definitely not a stripper. It's not like I want to see you to see me naked or anything. What is about naked girls? Why is the third and final member of our entourage to regain her senses? She sits up, uh, stretching and smiles. Good morning, Adia. Good morning, Ayana. Aren't you the sight for sore eyes? There's uh, nothing more delightful than waking up uh, from a long nap only to be greeted by two naked beauties uh, such as yourselves. <laughs> is she not realizing she self is naked? But I don't think that's uh, too unexpected for uh, Maya because uh, she uh, do have uh, quite a large number of strange fetishes, as far as I know. I feel as though I am ascending to paradise. Why are you taking that uh, high and mighty tone? Oh, it's an eyebrow. In case you hadn't noticed, you're naked too. What? Oh yes, I suppose I am, aren't I? Yes, you are. You're very, very naked. Don't you care that you're woken up in uh, the forest without any clothes on? Not particularly. I'm not ashamed of my body. It was uh, a gift from my parents and like all gifts, it should be cherished. Well, she has a point there. I'm so a little blim, it would be crying shame if I did not show it off every once in a while. I'm not at all embarrassed. But I take it that you and Ayana are not half as comfortable in your own skins as I am. Being comfortable isn't the issue. This is the matter of public decency. People aren't supposed to roam around naked. According to whose laws? Everyone the laws, it's common sense. Well, there are a few laws uh, these days, uh, that, but tell me if uh, you were allowed to roam around completely naked, uh, uh, life would be uh, so much easier. Walking around exposing frown upon outside of certain ceremonies, it disrupts the peace. I do not want to be labeled as a bad girl. Anna whimpers her cheeks uh, cherry red. Uh, and I do not want to uh, converse with Coco like this. I would hate for her to think less of me. Coco, hmm, is that your name? Yes, um, Coco lands her down at her feet. I think she's trying to stop herself from staying at Maya, but I see her eyelids flicker back up regardless. Well, uh, the technically only Maya and Coco right now that is actually not together with anyone. So, <laughs> I guess I can't blame her for gulping. Maya's uh, barrenness invites <laughs> in it. M -m my name is Coco. It's a pleasure to meet you, miss. Um, my name is Maya. Maya. And then, are you a friend of Ayana and Jaja's? I like to think so. I have been helping them locate you for several weeks, but now it seems my role is done. I'm very glad that we are able to find you again. They yeah, will be very happy, I am sure. Now I hate to intrude upon your heartfelt reunion, but I have to decide to mender me about these woods. The terrain is unfamiliar to me, and I know not where the nearest village is. Would you be so kind to tell us where we might take shelter for the night and perhaps uh, procure some food? Uh, oh yes, of course. I was going to suggest that I lead you back to my home myself, actually, but, um, Coco digs uh, her right foot against the ground. It might cause a stir when you show up like that. You need to wear something. Ah yes, you are correct. I forget that ordinary humans are strangely squeamish uh, on the matter of exposed skin. It seems foolish to me these are only bodies, but I must uh, abide my by your loss if I mean to live among you. I mean, it's about time she actually used some magic to actually conjure up some clothes. I mean, I have been thinking that for the last uh, few minutes. Ordinary humans? Who could tell her head uh, askance? Are you not an ordinary human yourself, Miss Maya? It's a long story, we'll tell you later. Oh my. It seems like you have fallen in with quite an interesting crowd during my absence, Yaja and Ayana. You must have been uh, on many incredible adventures. I cannot uh, wait to hear your tales when you are sufficiently dressed for it, of course. 
Of course, let me take care of things. I snap the fingers and uh, behest clothes begin to appear upon our, my body. Well, it seems that we somehow conjured up uh, exact replicas or even uh, the same clothes that we had always. Uh, a near perfect uh, fashion mile on the dress I usually wear adorns me, while animal uh, hide boots uh, bedeck my feet. When I look at Diana and Maya, I find that they are similarly attired in the clothes that were they always wear. Who? A whistle. I think Maya used her magic before, but I always seem to forget how many uses it has. You would think it to uh, look at Maya given how in <laughs> irrelevant uh, she is, but it's no slush. There's a reason why there are so many legends about her. Goodness me. Coco jumps along at the sudden transformations. Uh, how, how in the world did you do that? Magic, my dear. <laughs> Magic? Is that really possible? Most people know. But I'm no to most people. I'm a great and powerful witch. Perhaps you have heard of me. Incredible. I thought they... Uh, it's a coincidence that you shared your, your name with Maya, the legendary witch, but uh, could you actually be her? I am indeed. There may be many people called Maya in this world, but there is only one Maya as powerful as I. Feel free to go up in, if you do so desire. I am aware of my status as a celebrity, and indeed uh, I am quite accustomed to it. Bow down at my feet and tell me how wonderful I am. <laughs> I really hope she's okay about that. You're enjoying this too much. I should my surly glare. Whatever happened uh, to going to Coco's uh, <coughs> village? I feel exhausted. I think I need, <coughs> need to rest. Me too. My body feels awfully weak. It must be because of those slimes. What about slimes? Koga grips her bow tight and her eyes narrow. Don't tell me they were bothering you. That's just another long story. It's a bit much to go into right now. <laughs> Let's see. Sounds like you really do have a lot to tell me. I will postpone my uh, hunting for now so I can learn all the details. Now, why don't you follow me if you are able? I will take you to my village and to safety. I can't wait to talk to you. I miss you both so much. Yeah, this is definitely a new village. Now that the three of us are fully cloaked, Coco leads Ayanna, Maya and I through the forest to the village where she has been residing. This village is a humble one, smaller in scale than Ares if uh, I had to wager a guess. i say about 50 or 60 people reside here. Tiny though it is, there's something rather comforting about it. Here we are. Coco guides us uh, to one of the tents and opens the flap with a flourish. Home sweet home. Thank you for bringing us here, it's most appreciated. It is no problem, we are friends, remember? Uh, oh yes, I, I apologize. If I am being overly conscious... Uh, Consentious, uh, it has been a long time and I fear it will take me a while to grow accustomed to this. That's alright, don't worry about it. This was uh, very sudden for me too, I need a bit of time to come to terms with everything myself. Now are you going to go in? Uh, of course, I apologize for the delay. Thanks again Coco for letting us stay at your place. If it weren't for you, I don't know what we do. I duck my head and enter the tent. I'm not sure what I'm expecting exactly, but... Yeah, there's the merchant. <laughs> I mean, she did have a sprite, so of course uh, she would appear again. I did not expect uh, though it would take more than uh, an entire um, version for it. I mean, not version. I mean, uh, in Titus Sakura Forest Girls 2, it did not uh, show her. It's uh, so good to see you again, Coco. I was so lonely without you. I really did miss you. 
I didn't expect this. A woman is reclining in Coco's tent, attired in garments which seems to be rather expensive. She is wearing a white dress upon which is laid in translucent lilac gown, which looks uh, soft and silky to the touch. Oh wait, I'm supposed to uh, save here, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, uh, <coughs> I mean, I was uh, too, uh, too entranced in the story, but at least that was all I have for Sakura Forest Ghost 3. This time I'll take a look at you next time. Bye bye!